One night I dreamed there was a nuclear war that blackened and charred the earth. Everything went medieval and the few humans left alive were terrorized and preyed on by giant mutant crows the size of pterodactyls. These creatures plagued the skies like flocks of swastikas pestering the heavens with their questions. Caw. Caw. My native name was Crow Killer John and it was my job to keep the giant birds from preying on the people of my tribe. All day long I stalked the fields around our settlement, keeping watch from the tops of cairns and cranogs, Har's crossbow in hand, protecting the little ones from circling skull crows and daws and magpies as big as aircraft, cawing where, where, where over and over, their beady eyes trained on us juicy humans, peepers peeled for easy pickings. Hunger got the better of one fat jackal-eyed boy. He spotted me and swooped in low. I braced the crossbow stock against my shoulder, closed one eye and focused. Remember, the arrow obeys the string, not the bow. The crow loomed huge in the crosshairs. Closer still, beak open wide, crazy brain with hunger. I counted off the seconds. One, two, two and a half. My trigger finger whitened. The arrow took flight, a lightning bolt, skewering the crow. He plummeted to the earth and twitched and flapped and spurted weird green blood like he was a lawn sprinkler. The rest of the pack scattered in panic, but it took them only a moment to regroup. The sky blackened. Some of the crows fell on their fallen comrade and ripped his carcass apart, entrails dripping from their beaks. Others jeered and mocked and prepared to attack. I dipped into the quiver, extracted another arrow, pulled back the bowstring. Through the crossbow's scope, I saw a big black bastard of a hobo crow, bigger than the rest. My finger froze on the trigger. His eyes were huge, twin kaleidoscopes, whirling and turning and glowing like yellow coals. He opened his beak, and when he spoke, it was as if his voice was alive inside my mind. Sometimes the worm turns, John. Sometimes it turns into a serpent. Hypnotized, I couldn't tear my eyes away. My hands wouldn't obey me. They turned the crossbow around until its cold muzzle was in my mouth. My thumb curled around the trigger. Paul.